In today's video, we are going to make this logo animation into After Effects. First of all, we have to convert our text layer into shape layer. To do this, go to layer, create, create shape from text. Now we got our text layer into shape layer and we can delete it our text layer or we can hide it. To hide it, click on the shy icon to hide the text layer. As you can see our letters of polygon logo, it's into one shape layer right now, but we have to separate them into individual shape layers so we can animate it individually. To do this, rename the shape layer first to P and duplicate the shape layer multiple times for our rest of letters. After that, we can rename the shape layers for each letters one by one. Now go to drop down menu of the shape layer and delete the letters except N letter. So you will get N letter on this particular shape. Repeat this process with the rest of layers. Whenever you use text into After Effects and convert it into shape layer, this is a simple process you have to do to separate letters into each shape layers. Alright, after that we can start animation. First we animate this polygon letters and we start with P letter. First of all click on this button to make a solo layer. So I can focus on this particular letter. Now select pen tool and start drawing. The idea behind drawing this blue line is that I am revealing line of P to this blue line. After that go to the drop down menu of this blue line and add a trim path on it. Go to drop down menu of the trim path and change the value of end 100 to 0 at the first frame and make a keyframe on start and end point. Then go to 40 frames further in the timeline and change the values end and the start point. I set the value of the start point to match the line of P. After that select two keyframes of the start point and drag in the timeline something like this. Select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. Go to graph editor, select those handles and pull it something like this to achieve this animation. You can adjust the duration of the animation by dragging these keyframes in the timeline back and forth just like this until you satisfied with the animation. Now we can proceed to animate our P shape layer. I am selecting that point where I will reveal the shape of P. To do this select the P shape layer, go to drop down menu. Here you can see the path of the P shape layer. This is the inner path of the P shape and this is the outer path of the P shape. Make a keyframe of both paths. I am dragging these keyframes further in the time because basically these keyframes are gonna be last keyframes of the animation of P shape. I am making multiple keyframes in these shape layers so I can animate them. Then go to first keyframe and select layer. Click one of the point of the shape. Press Alt on the keyboard and drag this mouse cursor to select multiple points of these shapes then double click on one of these shape point to select all the points then you will get this box so you can drag this box according to your need and animate this shape of P whenever you animate the shape of path using paths it takes longer time compared to other process of animation so I speed up this animation process and then I'll show you the final animation I got. After making easy ease of all the keyframes, here is the final preview I got. You can see the shape of P is still there, which we have to remove it. Let's see how can we remove it. To do this, select the shape of P, then select a rectangle tool and check this box. This tool allows you to make a mask on the shape layer. Just make a simple mask on the shape layer something like this and make a keyframe on the mask path then drag the time indicator into the timeline to check the animation and make a one more keyframe on this time adjust the mask then check the animation is it perfect or not 
if not so adjust the keyframe again until you satisfied with the animation after that this is the final preview of our p shape animation it looks good to me after that we can change the color of the shape to match the p shape line now we can proceed to animate our o shape layer click a solo button for the o shape layer so we can see o shape layer 2 with the p shape layer to animate this o shape layer first of all we set the anchor point of this o shape layer at the bottom of this o shape layer to do this simply select the pen behind tool and drag the anchor point at the bottom of this shape now select the selection tool and press p on the keyboard to reveal the position of this o shape layer and make a keyframe on it then press s on the keyboard to reveal the scale values of this o shape layer and make a keyframe on it then uncheck this icon it allows you to change the x and y values of scale individually then press u on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes on this shape layer then go to 20 frames further in the timeline and make another keyframe on p and s values also one last keyframes on this point go to first frame and adjust the position of the o shape then go to second keyframe and change the position of o shape layer check a short preview then select all the keyframe press f9 to easy ease it's make your animation smoother now select only position keyframes go to graph editor select those handle and pull it like this it makes the o shape layer like a bouncing ball after that change the scale value at the first frames and see the short preview just like this we change the value of scale of this shape basically i am trying to make this o shape like a bouncing ball when it's come to the back and that's the final preview of this o shape layer let's move on to the next letter to animate the l shape layer select the pen behind tool and drag the anchor point at the bottom of this shape layer then press s to reveal the scale values and make a keyframe on it make some more keyframes in the shape layer just we did before three or four keyframes it's good now to animate this l shape layer up and down we only change the y value of the scale to change the y value only uncheck this box just we did before so we can uh, able to change the only y value of this shape after that select all the keyframe press f9 to easy ease it will make a smoother animation after that we can adjust the keyframe to match the o animation basically i want that when the o shape layer drop on the ground at this time i want to reveal the l letter something like this i am happy with this animation now i have to rotate this l layer so this l layer shape reveal all the other letters to do this select the layer press r to open rotation and make a keyframe on it basically we are going to create two keyframes on the shape layer then change the second keyframe value 180 to rotate the l shape layer upside down and i also decided to change the scale values so it looks more uh, fluidy and uh, bouncy after that check a short preview and adjust the scale value to match the other letters width this is a rough preview of l shape layer after that go to the graph editor of the rotation and select those handle and pull it like this so your animation looks like this now we have to bend this l shape so it will give you the feel of elastic band to achieve this effect go to the effect panel and search cc bend it select and drop on this layer then set the start point at the bottom of this shape layer and set the end point 
top of the shape layer something like this but here is the glitch part when I rotate this shape layer our shape layer looks like cut out to solve this problem go to the drop down menu of this effect panel and hold alt and click on the stopwatch to reveal this squad panel here you can type to com expression just like this and hit anywhere also copy this code hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the start point and paste it here now select the effect and adjust the start and end point again as we did before as you can see our problem is solved now we can bend our shape layer with this effect so make a keyframe on the band then drag the time indicator into the timeline further then change the value of the band effect according to your animation after creating keyframe select all the keyframe press f9 to smooth the motion so here is the final preview we got it's time to animate our rest of the layers so select them then press p to reveal the position values of those keyframes make a keyframe on it and make several keyframes and adjust the position according to our motion of the l shape layer basically we are matching the motion of the l shape layer after making keyframes select all the keyframe press f9 to easy ease here is the short preview we can adjust the keyframes to match the motion of the l shape layer after that press s to reveal the scale values of those shape layers make a keyframe on it and at the first keyframes we change the value of the shape layer to zero then trim the shape layer at this point then arrange it in a sequence something like this and take a preview all right after some making changes here is the final preview of this animation that's it for now guys hope you like this video if you have any question please ask me i'll reply you as soon as possible and don't forget to follow me on the instagram thanks for watching and see you in the next video